And dear friends, brothers and sisters, God has something special for you. He is working on your prayers. You know what? Something good is about to happen because He has amazing and better plans for your life. God loves you very much. And remember that, friends, keep me in your prayers. Amen. Happy Sunday, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is the 38th Sunday in Ordinary Time and our gospel for today speaks about love. You know, the, the Pharisees were asking Jesus, what is the greatest of all the commandments? The context behind this question is this. They're asking what is the greatest of all the commandments because they, they are following 613 laws and regulations. Can you imagine 613 of them? And I think it is that the question, what is the greatest of all the commandments, is a valid and a logical question to ask. And Jesus does not only summarize the law, but he revealed the real meaning and essence of the law, law, and that is love. And Jesus is telling me and you that love is not a part-time job. Love must be full-time because Jesus said, Love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. And love your neighbor with all your mind and with all your soul. You know, when we say we love God, it is not just enough to say it in words. You know, when, you, when we say, I love you, Lord, when you say, I love you, Jesus, we need to prove it. We need to prove it. When we say, I love you, we need to show our love. And when we say, I love you, Lord, we need to prove it by loving our neighbors. Loving others is a concrete manifestation of loving God. Why? Because it is hypocrisy when you say you love the Lord and yet you hate other people. It is hypocrisy when you say you love Jesus yet you hate people around you. And the best way to express our love to God is to identify the poor, the orphans in our community. And I think it's good to ask ourselves, who are the poor? Who are the orphans in your family? Love them because they are the face of God. You know, if you are a husband and you're telling your wife, you know, dear, I love you, it's not enough. The word I love you, it's not enough. Prove it. Show it. On the other hand, too, if you are if you are a wife and you're telling your husband, you know, honey, I love you. Words are not enough. Prove it. Show it. And the best way to prove our love to God, as what our readings is telling us, is by loving God our neighbors and you know to tell you honestly to love is very difficult when you choose to love that is very hard and challenging mission because when you love you are allowing other people to hurt you when you love you're opening your heart your heart to be hurt by other people when you love you are giving other people the chance and opportunity to hurt you. That's why our second reading, St. Paul is telling the Thessalonians, be imitators of Christ the Lord. That in spite of the persecutions, in spite of the rejections, choose to love. Be imitators of God. And you know, loving God is, as what I've told you in the opening, it's not a part-time job, but a full-time one. When you love the Lord, love Him with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. And my dear friends, the best way to love the Lord is by loving our neighbors, especially the poor and the orphans. When you say, I love you, prove it.
when you say I love you, show it. Amen.